you know, R, capital R here, which is the radius of the, if you go back, this is the capital R, which is the radius of the bigger cage. So you find that this, uh, this quantity here, which is a power loss, is independent of the cage diameter or radius. In other words, if you put it on a, a line, you know, above ground, exactly the same thing. So as long as the gradient is the same, the power loss is the same. So this concept is very useful, as I said, because when you are doing tests, you have a three-phase line, and the gradients on the three phases are different. So how do you calculate the three-phase coronal losses from the tests? So suppose we have coronal loss as a function of the conductor surface gradient. This we can do it in the cage. You increase the voltage, measure the losses, so you can obtain this curve. Now, once you have a line design that you would like to see, you calculate the conductor surface gradient. So the lecture of uh, Professor Jan Reinders is helpful in this. That means you can calculate the individual conductor surface gradients.